Okay, I have my torch going here, putting some gloves on. Got some tongs to hold this dish. I have this bit of sand here underneath just in case I drop the dish or something. I don't want this to scatter everywhere. I have no idea how long this is going to take. But my hope is to melt this in the Pyrex dish. And then I, th I have actually double gloves on here. I'm hoping I can then pick it up with my hands and gently pour it into the mold. My estimation is that this is going to require uh, a, almost about 65 grams of selenium. And this I ordered was 80, well, it was nominally 80 grams, and it actually was 83 grams. So I have very little to spare, so I get one shot at this. Oh, granted, I can recast it, I hope, if it, you know, if I have to redo it. So you can see it's starting to melt right up here. Hopefully this works well with the torch. I didn't want to fire up the foundry just to melt this small sample. Oh good, it is liquefying. Selenium you can also order in just kind of granules from industrial suppliers. I couldn't find any in the U.S. that were uh, convenient, that, that quoted prices. I'm hoping maybe I can get this a little more cheaply in the future if I want to cast a second one. This was from a kind of an elemental supply store online, a place that supplies uh, chemical elements, basically to collectors of chemical elements. And it, it was cast in that really nice disc, which of course I just immediately smashed. I could have used just plain old granules from an industrial su supplier. Um, okay, so this has liquefied very well. It's not all done, almost. I want to try to get the disc or the uh, Pyrex dish plenty warm. So that it pours easily and evenly. See a little bit of oxidation there at the top. I want to pour this fairly quickly also so that if you, I think if you apply a flame directly to selenium it'll oxidize uh, very quickly, which I don't want. That's why I'm just kind of gently heating this. Also, this is much nicer than working with that foundry again. Okay, let's Get this ready. Oh, I just had a crack. So let's pour this.
thought I heard, oh I did, you'll see a crack in the Pyrex dish, so I may have heated this a little too quickly or something, um, or maybe squeezing it with tongs, or just the open flame was a little bit much, but it did not shatter the dish, and I was able to pour into the mold, excuse me, and you should be able to see it was just enough. Um, you can see it just filled up that mold, it poured very easily. Um, so we'll let this cool down and my next video will be the breaking open of this mold. I hope that works. That was kind of pleasant, just an expensive element. This actually per gram is more expensive than silver and even indium. I think it's the most expensive uh, element I've used, maybe, although it's pretty light so it didn't take as much material. Uh, the silver is still the most expensive piece once it's finally cast.